Three Are you ready? Uh, all right, Todd, we got the new, is there a particular name? I see 4x4 four four on it. Yeah, so the, we're launching the Crest iPilot okay. into um, uh, the U.S. market in March of 2026. Okay. At Equip 2025, where we are right now, it's, mm -hmm. the, it's the U.S. North American debut of this program. So it's the first appearance. First appearance, okay. right? You are the first ones to see it. You, you are the I'm first the ones to see it. First ones to see it. Him, right there. <laughs> <laughs> right. So let me explain why we have iPilot out, right? All right. The intent of iPilot is to make it easier to install and less touch points for humans, right? Okay. Whether you're a dealer, a landscaper, or a resident. Mm -hmm. We have two we have two platforms, a two-wheel drive okay. and a four-wheel drive. The technology between the two is the same. We are bringing three technologies together, RTK. Okay. Uh, and, and tell them what RTK stands so for. RTK is real-time kinematic technology. It's a communication protocol between the robot, satellites, and an antenna. Okay. That it always knows its precise location to get two to three centimeter level accuracy. All right. We pair that with VSLAM as well as vision technology, so you can see the cameras on the top. Okay. Stereo camera, so we see things in 3D. All right. And we back that up with a brain power that has over 20 million images and growing daily. Okay. So the robots can learn and understand your yard to be able to move through it much faster. Okay. The biggest benefit is that with those technologies coming together with that brain power behind it, mm -hmm. the units can now auto map. Okay. So the setup of these is much easier. Now you can still use the mapping cart with it, okay. right? If you have larger properties, it's gonna be much faster to walk with the mapping cart and then be able to do your no-go zones versus sitting behind it and controlling and it manually. Joystick it. <laughs> or allow it to be auto map, right? Okay. Now when you say auto map, yep. how is it gonna know what boundary not to go past if it's auto mapping itself? So if you have two yards that are not separated by a barrier, mm -hmm. all you literally have to do is pull a garden hose out or a string it'll see that as a barrier and just follow it precisely down where you got it laid. Okay. And it's only one time you have to do that. After okay. that, it's a, it's a virtual boundary. Okay. Right? So imagine you've got one yard and then a driveway, then something else you need to cut. Mm -hmm. You can create a pathway across that driveway okay. or a pathway across the sidewalk or okay. a pathway from one yard to another zone. Right? I got you. I got you. Um, as you're trying to take, you know, put efficiency into how you install it. Okay. All right. Now, I, I try to explain this to some of I get asked this question. Yeah. What about gates? And I. So it's it's even easier, right? Yeah. So yeah. you can literally just map the front yard. Okay. As one area. All right. Then Let's go back and map the backyard as a second area. Okay. Open the gate, create a pathway. Okay. Between those two, so that way you have two areas that you can schedule separately. You can actually change the the height of cut per area. Yeah. You can schedule it for different times per area. Different patterns Different per patterns area. per area. Mm -hmm. And now you just open the gate to create the pathway. That's all you need to do. Okay. All right. All right. The other part, so we have a two wheel drive mm -hmm. and we have a four wheel drive. Our okay. four wheel drive is capable of 39 degrees or 84% slope plotting. Okay. So you can do that both vertical or horizontal, right? So vertical or parallel path. All mm. of these still can do, um, can still maintain a pattern with two to three centimeter level accuracy. Okay. The unique part is we also have not only four-wheel drive, but we have servo steering motors in the front wheels to allow us to do really tight turns. Without, so those actually turn? They do, okay. without tearing up your grass. And they're, they're, they'll still turn even on all-wheel drive? On all-wheel drive, yeah. Okay. So we've added benefits because not all U.S. lawns are created equal. Right? You are correct. And we want to make sure that we limit the amount of touch points a human has to interact with it and still get your yard mode as pretty as you want. Okay. All right? So if, if that's the, not enough, I still okay. got one hey, more feature for one you. One more thing. like One I, more. One more Just thing. Just one more. All right? <laughs> so I'll go over here so you can see it a little bit. All, right. all right? So on all Crest units, we have a new feature called that Zero Trim. All right? What Zero Trim is is it allows us to get as close to an edge as possible so you can limit the amount of Now, I saw that earlier and right? somebody pointed out to me and that's, yep. that's, that's, that's awesome. So right before, the gap for grass was basically from the end of that blade to the end of that section. Mm -hmm. It's about four to five inches. Correct. Every mower is like that, right? Every robotic mower. So we created zero trim, which is a disc that has the flail blades on it. It only activates during your edge or border edge cuts. Routine. Okay. So your cut that you're left over with is now literally the thickness of these two walls. 
Okay. All right. And even with that, this this can go up on the concrete. Absolutely. So yeah. I can actually. When you're mapping, map it, if you so have a I driveway, can, just split the driveway. So all you're doing, you don't have to worry about trimming along between the grass and that concrete. It literally will get all of it. It'll get all of it. And then okay. zero trim is going to be where you have your hardscape, like a wall, the side okay. of a house yes. or a flower bed. So now zero trim comes along and gets really close. It limits the amount of time you have to string trim. He uh -huh. likes it. He likes it. <laughs>